In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a smart view to track certain content within your um, uh, Blackboard Grade Center. So when you go into your course, underneath your course management section, you're going to open up your Grade Center and go into the full Grade Center. In a great center, it often has many columns that you have a tough time dealing with, especially when there are so many in the course. So many assignments, um, oh, uh, tests, things like that. So what you can do is you can use the smart views to manage what you see within the grade center. So to go in to add a smart view, you're going to go into manage and go to smart views. Now there are predefined smart views that are already set up within the course automatically within Blackboard. So they take categories and they create smart views for those categories. So um, for an example, there's always a discussion area within your course. If you um, want to use that smart view, you can just click on it to access it. If you want a particular view to show up in the menu on the left hand side as a shortcut, all you have to do is turn on the smart or add to favorites on the last column. So you can just click on that and it will add it to the favorites over on the left hand side here. Okay, and to go in, we're going to add a smart view for student learning outcomes. So I'm going to go in to create a new smart view and I'm going to give it a name of student learning outcome. A, and you can put in a description. Now if I wanted to show up in the menu, I would turn on that Add to Favorites. Now this is something I'm only going to be using at the end of the semester, so I'm not going to add it. Okay, I want to go in and set up the um, student learning outcomes based on each assignment that meets student, le student learning outcome A. So I'm going to go in and turn on um, User View, Individual Users. I want to go in and grab all the users from my course and then I only want to grab the assignments or the tests or anything that's being graded within the course that matches up or measures um, the student learning outcome A. So I want to go in and tell it I want to use selected columns only and then I've figured out which assignments actually meet up with A. So I would go in and select the assignments to go with this and I can click on one and then hold down my control key and click on each additional. Now I can select a group by clicking on the first one and holding down the shift key and clicking and selecting everything in between. Okay, so once I have the columns that I want in this view, I'm going to hit submit. Okay, so now if I look down through my list, I will see that the student learning outcome A is a view at this point. It is not in my favorites. It's not turned on over here. So if I want to see it, I would actually go into the um, full grade center. And then I would go in underneath manage smart views. And I would just click on the SLO A and it'll let me see that particular um, set of assignments based within the course that measure that certain student learning outcome. Now what I can do now is I could actually go in and do work offline and download this and it will go to an Excel spreadsheet. So I can actually download it and manipulate it and analyze um, how the grades were for that particular student learning outcome. So that's an option. Now if I decide that I do want this to show up as a shortcut over in the menu, I would go back to the full grade center, go into manage, go back into smart views, and I can go to that particular one and I can just hit the star at the end and that will automatically update it so it will show up over on the left hand side. I just have to refresh my screen or OK this. Now if I check the left hand side, it's now there. Now if I find that I need to add some columns to this, I can go back into Manage and Smart Views. Go down to the Smart View that I want to edit. Hit the drop arrow at the end of it and hit Edit. And this is where I can go in and change any of the settings that I had set up for it. Okay, and then just submit it. 
All right, so that's how you can go in and create a smart view pulling out specific columns of your grade center.